Alrighty folks, just gonna give a little bit of a round up on the uh, battery testing here. Um, stripped out the pack and uh, basically what I did was uh, I took a cell from the, the outside um, block here and used it to replace uh, that bad one and uh, I've just got it hooked up 3S at the minute and um, as we can hopefully see from the amp hour counter here um, got a lot better than the kind of 39 or so amp hours um, that I had previously been able to achieve with the pack um, so I'm going to call that 58 amp hours um, now interestingly again even with the bottom balance in on these cells it's this string here that's the least capacity these two guys here weren't even close to the knee uh, when I had to start throttling back the power supply um, so my guess would be that if I was to do an, another capacity test that these two blocks would probably get up close enough to 64 amp hours um, I've been in contact with Manz and Eta and they've very kindly uh, offered to send me some replacement cells um, so I can then get this back to a 4 S4P pack and uh, do a few more tests on it um, it's just getting near the cut off point now I'm just basically dialing back the power supply uh, if I check the current we're around at 3 amps that's where I'd be shutting the charger down in the car so uh, that cell there, that weak cell as I'm going to call it, is, uh, I'm on camera, is that about, uh, in or about the top end there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the power supply at that. There we go. So we'll call that 58 amp hours. Um, it is unfortunately still a far cry from the 64 um, I'd have been looking to get 60 ideally um, but with this bad cell out um, this was only giving me 2 amp hours barely so it's uh, the funny thing about it um, if I just put it down here uh, somewhere I don't have much bench space left um, if I just put that cell down here, I'm just going to see if I can just quickly put a voltmeter on it. Um, it's a funny thing with these cells. Uh, let's see here for a second. Steven Spielberg, I ain't. Yeah, I mean, you look at that voltage and you think happy days. Good cell but uh, unfortunately it's not so that's one thing beware of I suppose headway cells bearing voltages uh, it doesn't always mean that they're going to make capacity um, so that's about it on this round of battery tests uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just uh, when the cells come in from Anza and Eta I'll go ahead and I'll get that pack back up to 4S, 4P and uh, just uh, do a few more tests on it but in any event in that configure configuration I'm not going to get any more than let's call it 58 amp hours now, <clears throat> if you think of uh, the value proposition here, um, if I got a pack of 
52 Cal B 60 amp hour cells which will do 10 C bursts which uh, will be more than sufficient um, for accelerations with a 500 amp controller uh, you think about that pack that's going to cost you about three and a half thousand euros it's going to give you the same energy as I'm getting out of the existing pack of headways it's not going to have all these bus bars and uh, plastic blocks and all the other stuff in there um, and it'll be much much easier to build that pack into a car um, so if I had my time back and was doing it again I would probably go with Cal B 60s and uh, I just actually discovered th today that uh, GWL Power in the Czech Republic are now stocking Cal B cells um, so that makes it quite easy uh, to obtain them here in uh, in Europe and uh, when I considered the fun and games that I had getting the uh, the headways out of China I think it would be a no brainer now but all that being said um, I'm still happy enough the car is driving beautifully um, the battery just charges and discharges and hopefully when I add in this pack here it'll just make the voltage a little bit higher and uh, give me a slight little performance increase and at 58 amp hours you know I'm happy enough um, when the cells come in from Manzanita I might decide to play with that pack but uh, just to swap out some of those cells there but I'm probably not going to bother because where do you stop then I mean I'd be I'd be going into 200 cells trying to pull out the ones that didn't make capacity um, I think it would be a bit of a fool's errand at this stage considering that my average drive only consumes about somewhere between 28 and 32 amp hours so um, I think we're good to go at that. So that's it. Uh, I'll come back on this topic uh, maybe just briefly uh, when I have the um, when I have the pack built built back up to 4S 4P. Okay, folks. See you later.